things that are being done with this uh, 3D world and uh, I think it, it could be startling and different and it and then I said you've already got ironies in there about you know this is an MTV video he didn't reply he didn't give me a yes he didn't give me a no so I didn't get any answer so that was fine I went back to Engl England having shot them on stage uh, and put the rest of the video together for the next two months and uh, you know the rest is kind of history with him. Uh, once a record company said, okay, we're going to give you a chance, uh, we got to make uh, two records um, in the tradition of all the albums that we admired that co had come before us 40 years before. I didn't <laughs> realize it was going to cause that much trouble. I think it's hilarious. It's rock and roll. People Magazine paid me back by putting my real phone number in their oh, article. Oh, are you kidding me? me? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So... Where I come from, that's called a good RF, and I had to hand it to him and laugh. <laughs> you're not supposed to get mad, you're supposed to get even. But interestingly, because rock and roll doesn't carry the ambition of social change so clearly as it used to do, it's lost its kind of a re revolutionary spirit in a way. It's more about celebrity than it is about change. So we're, we're in an era where I'm aware of the enormous celebrity and fame of some people, but have no idea about their songs. <laughs> Because we started writing this before all this went down, but it, there's two or three songs that I, I mean, I, I, Tommy, you wrote this before this. I mean, it sounds like it is. Oh, wow. Um, there's certain things. Well, it's Styx has always had this, this way uh, of, of, from the very beginning, as far as I was ever in the band, um, obviously, they had a way of having these positive messages. And when she sang it on the Oscars. Oh, yeah. Um, with all those sexual assault survivors. Yes. Yeah. To me, not just because I wrote the song, but that's one of the best things I've ever seen, like on TV. I remember being in the audience, and I remember just people were just riveted, and yeah. I was looking around, I was watching people crying. And oh, then, yeah. commercial break, and then, and the winner is, what? I remember sitting there going, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and unfortunately, the camera's on you, so you have to have your, your you know, like really graceful kind of like loser face going on. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm, I was really, you know, blessed to be able to tour with my dad and, you know, because he taught me so many things while I was on the road that I wouldn't have been able to like learn just playing like local shows and stuff. Right. There's a lot that they showed us and um, yeah, we definitely miss touring with them. And the best part was just when I'm playing on stage with my family and um, now I still got Julian on the drums and si my sister Jess is still singing with me. So that's um, so cool we're, we're that you guys have the family band yeah. thing going on, yeah. you know? So at the end of the first run through, the first rehearsal we had, Brian May was watching and he came up to me and said, no, no, it's very, very good. You know, you've got it very accurate. Um, all the physicality is very good, but don't, don't forget I'm a rock star. Oh. And I was like, good point. When I was 18 years old, I saw Live Aid live on TV and yeah. I'd never seen a moment like it. That Queen performance. How daunting was that moment for you as an actor? Yeah, well, it was our first day of shooting. All right! What I love about the man is that, you know, he never allowed himself to be you know, categorized or, or boxed into any one thing. You've got some other footage um, with, uh, with Bill Graham. There was a... Uh, uh Peter Albin from the Big Brother. There was uh, Marty Ballin uh, from Airplane. And you had uh, a real good uh, little bit of stuff from uh, Bob Weir from Grateful Dead. And so followed up by Bill Graham, who just went through a whole life story, which was amazing. I was the only one there filming this. Mm. And of course, when I got done with it, I had to give Bill a copy. <laughs> like, yeah. If we didn't take advantage of that tool, we would just make a lot of money. And while I respect the dollars that I earn, and I respect the fact that all of you work hard to earn your dollars, it's not enough. And when you become as fortunate as I have become to be among the high earners in our industry, in our society, what do you do that you don't have to do? 